All the world's a stage. All the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances. And one man in his time plays many parts, his act being seven ages at first. The infant, mewling, puking in the nurse's arms. Then the whining schoolboy with his satchel and shining morning face, creeping like snail unwillingly to school. And then a lover, sighing like furnace with a woeful ballad made to his mistress, eyebrow and then a soldier, full of strange oaths, bearded like the pard, jealous in honour, sudden and quick in quarrel, seeking the bubble, reputation even in the cannon's mouth. And then the justice, in fair round belly, with good capon lined, eye severe, beard, formal cut, full of wise words, modern instances, and so he plays his part. The sixth age shifts into the lean, slippid pantaloon, spectacles on nose and pouch on side, his youthful hose well saved, a world too wide for his shrunk shank, and his big manly voice turning again toward childish treble. Pipes and whistles in his sound. The last scene of all. It ends this strange, eventful history. His second childishness. A mere oblivion. Sans teeth. Sans eyes. Sounds taste. Sounds everything.